Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my collection series, and today we're going to be talking about my Atari 5200 collection. Okay, so this is the Atari 5200 collection. First up, we have Buck Rogers, Planet of Zoom. And there's the cartridge. This is one of the funny uh, Sega cartridges. Uh, I have one more that'll show up in the video a little bit later. We have Classic Centipede 5200. I love, I really do love like the full color on these. Uh, these are all in universal game cases that had to be slightly modified to fit the cartridge. Again, we have Choplifter. Choplifter is a great game. Um, everyone should play it at least once. Next up, we have Defender. You know, Defender is a another classic. Um, no one should go without playing Defender at least once. And next up, we have Dig Dug, yet another classic. Uh, again, beautiful front art. Um, no spine, but you know, again, Dig Dug is an absolute classic. Everyone should at least treat themselves to try to play it. Uh, here we have Galaxian, and another beautiful uh, label on this one. And then we have the back that just shows Galaxian. Then we have Pac-Man. This is a better version than the 2600, uh, but to compare it to the arcade, um, some people would say that it's still kind of lacking. Next up, we have Pitfall on the Atari 5200. Uh, this is another one of the weird cartridges, although this one's done by Activision. Um, you can tell not so much on the camera uh, but how the the uh, coloring on right here is a little bit off. Um, and that's because the adhesive that is underneath this label is actually eating away at the pigment and stuff. Um, you can see how it's just really, really just not the same color. It's just not uniform anymore. Um, it's much more prominent in person. Next up we have... Pitfall 2, and again, another Activision, although I think uh, they, they're still using the same pro, they still have the same problem with the adhesive that's like to salt, that's uh, harming the pigment behind, but this large brown label that's kind of lackluster um, hides the fact quite a bit, but you can still see it in the lettering and stuff. And now we go and have the original pole position. Um, I love pole position. It was just a fun racing game. This label's a little bit wrinkled, and I think it's just because uh, there's a little bit of humidity that got to it. And we have Space Invaders, yet another classic on the Atari 5200. Um, and again, here's the back. It also has one or two players. It's just a really, really fun game. And here's my other weird Sega game. It's Star Trek Strategic Operation Simulator. And as you can see, this is that really weird uh, Sega Atari 5200 uh, style cartridge where it's just all black. Um, they, now they do a great job with like the, the full color and stuff, but again, the adhesive is a little bit damaging to the pigments on this. And then finally, we have the last game, Super Breakout. Uh, I always love the Breakout series style of game, where it, be it um, Arkanoid or Breakout or Alleyway or anything like that. It, they're all relatively the same, where you just use this and bounce a ball up against the, the colors and, and bust out the blocks and stuff. Uh, a really fun game, but... Um, that's it, guys. That's the end of my Atari 5200 collection. Have a great day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. 
and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.